Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Yolanda and I am a zero base cash budgeter. In today's video, I am going to be budgeting my side hustle income for the first week of April. And I'm also going to be budgeting my um, business binder expenses. I already wrote down the, the breakdowns here. Um, and I was gonna do it on camera, but I ended up doing it off camera. Um, but I'm just going to run through it with you guys. So let's start with my overtime pay and my side hustle. This includes anything that I sell on Macari as well. Um, but, um, and I usually, usually put like card cash back rewards, but I'm not going to do that for this paycheck because I didn't do any cash backs on any of my cards. So we work with the 70, 20, 10. And I'm sorry if I'm out of breath, you guys, and I apologize. I'm just having a really hard time breathing lately, but it is going to be okay. In total, we're going to be stuffing or breaking down $293.71. I'm just going to roll, run, roll, sorry, round up to $294. And then I know I have a couple of change left in my bank account, so I'll just pull it from there. So $294. The 70%, which is going to go to its um, investments, is $205. Let me just double check that. Yeah, $205.80. I'm just going to roll, roll round up to $206. Um, the 20% goes towards savings challenges, so 294 times 20 and that's $58.80. I'm just gonna roll round up into $59. And the 10% is just gonna go into my envelopes. I'm gonna put that into my moving binder. So 294 times, it's gonna be $29, okay. $24 times 10 cent, 10%. Okay, so $29 is going to go towards my moving binder. And that should, all three of these should come up to $294. I'm just going to put $294 here. Um, so $206 plus $59 plus $29. I'm at $294. So that is my breakdown for my overtime pay and my side hustle income. I just... I can't remember what the, the what the breakdown for what I sold on Macari was, and I should have checked it before I started filming, but I know the entire amount was two ninety three seventy one. And before I move on to my Etsy income, I just want to thank everybody that has purchased for my Etsy. Um, this is a month. This is for the month of March, and I am truly grateful. I just. I can't thank you guys enough. I can't thank you guys enough for the YouTube support, my Etsy support, and I I enjoy doing these videos and it hurt that I couldn't record last week um, since I had ended up losing my voice. But um, you guys are amazing and I really appreciate this community and I wanna continue to do these videos for you and I will continue to do these videos for you. Um, just bear with me because I'm just trying to get back into my rhythm and and get back to my normal schedule so i'm sorry i didn't post any videos um last week or the week prior and i i'm just so grateful to be back so for etsy i break down my income i made this make this month was a total of 95 dollars and I already did the breakdown for my envelopes and I put the, uh, different percentages like I do with my regular pay and my overtime pay. It just e It's easier for me to work with percentages and knowing where I'm going to put each um, amount towards so that I don't really have to think about it per paycheck. And obviously if, I'm, if I need to make a purchase and it's not working out, I'll just allocate more money from a certain different categories but this is what i'm just going to work with for now and it's been working for me so far and um i'm comfortable with these percentages so for education it's i'm going to put five dollars for supplies nineteen dollars um taxes is what i pull out first um 
I'm going to put $29. Shipping is $10%, um, $10. Equipment is $10. Office is $2, which is not much, but we don't really need anything in regards to office supplies because we're pretty much set up. YouTube is getting $5. Miscellaneous, if I forgot anything in these categories, is getting $10. Subscriptions, which is my Canva and my Cricut, is getting $5. And I didn't put anything into Support Small because there wasn't anything left. But since I have an envelope for Support Small in my personal envelope, personal binder, I... I'll just I'll I'll um I I'll use that if because I do want to continue to support you you guys that have small businesses and things like that. So in total it was $95, but I just didn't wanted to show you guys this breakdown. I would have done it on camera um but I was just double checking my numbers and I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to show you guys the my insert. So this is going to go back into my binder. And that is it for this video. I know it was short and sweet. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel and giving me a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video, which should be my cash stuffing for this video. I'm also probably going to cash stuff my business binder as well if you guys are interested in seeing that. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.